everyone! I am Kim Ridley Grace Gariel. And I am Juju Carla Alvarez. And today, we are going to introduce Francisco Balagtas. Francisco Baldassar, or also popularly called as Francisco Balagtas, is a well-known Filipino poet writer born on April 2, 1788 in Balagtas, Bulacan, or formerly known as Bigaa, Bulacan, and died on February 20, 1862. He is known for his works like Florante and Laura, which is very known and are thought mostly in high school students nowadays. Baldassar was the youngest of four children and at a young age, he showcased an interest in writing poetry and he displayed great potential. His family moved to Manila and he became a houseboy for his aunt. His family in Manila would support him in his study in Colegio de San Juan de Letran and Colegio de San Jose. Thus, that became a foundation to set the stage for Baltasar to become a great success as poet. In 1835, they moved to Pandacan, a district of Manila, and he met a young lady named Maria Asuncion Rivera, who would eventually become the muse of all his future works. Although Baltasar loved Maria, he was not able to have her because Maria has another suitor named Mariano Capullo. Capullo used his power and money to have Baltasar in prison in 1835 so that Maria could marry him instead of Baltasar. While in prison, Baltasar wrote Florante and Laura, which was a poem based on his personal circumstances regarding his love for Maria and the deception of another male suitor. Upon his release from prison in 1838, Baltasar published Florante and Laura and was considered by many to be his best work. Considering the biography of Francisco Baltasar, it is important to acknowledge his legacy as one of the best Filipino poets in history. Baltasar is also known for writing his poems in Tagalog instead of Spanish to show resistance to Spanish roots. So these are Francisco Baltazar's complete works. While his poetry was very influential, Baltazar would also hold other prestigious positions, which included being appointed as the translator of the court, serving as assistant to the justice of the peace, and serving as major lieutenant. Balagtas is greatly idolized here in the Philippines that the term for Filipino debate in extemporaneous verse is named after him. There is irony to success that Balthasar achieved as a poet. Balthasar announced his gift for writing by stating on his deathbed that he did not want his children to follow his footsteps and become a poet, as it caused him much suffering in his life and the life of his family. He even went as far to say that it would be better for them to cut off their hands than to pursue a profession of being a writer. Despite Balthazar's renunciation, he is highly regarded as a poet and writer and there is a school named after him as well. The Francisco Balagtas Elementary School located along Alvarez Street in Santa Cruz, Manila. There was also a plaza and a park which featured the names of the characters in Florante and Laura as street names. being fought in school. That's how influential Francisco Balagtas was. So everyone, I hope you learned something about Francisco Balthazar's life and I hope that served as an addition to your knowledge about him.